So the final step here is to calculate the area for our shapefile and uh, convert it into acres. And that'll be our final data output. So to do that, we will right click on our shapefile, go to open attribute table, and we're gonna insert a new field. So we're gonna add field. And the name will be area. And under the drop down, we'll do float. Click OK. And that'll give us our new field. So, in order to run the expression on this, we can right click on the gray header. And we'll go down to calculate geometry. We know we're outside of an edit session. And here's the calculate geometry box. Uh, to ask you for what type of geometry you want, we want area. We want our coordinate system to be used, and the default for that is square meters, which is fine. And we'll hit OK. And this gives us our area in square meters. So, the next step is how to convert that to acres. So we're going to add another field. Call this acres. We'll do float again. And so what we need to do now is build an expression that converts area to acres. So in order to do that, we need to find out what the conversion factor is. Let's close this out. And we can just do a simple Google search. Remember we're in square meters, so we want to convert square meters to acres. So one square meter is 0 .000247, and that's what we'll use. So we'll go back to ArcGIS, right click, open attribute table, we'll go back to our acres here. And we'll go to Field Calculator. So I'm going to edit session. So acres would be area times 0.000247. That's the conversion factor. Click OK. And there's our acres. These are each of the polygons that are within the within the uh, final shape file. So the last step will be get a summary of our acreages for each habitat type. There's a few different ways to do this. Um, this is probably the the most basic and easy way, but we'll right click on the shape file, go on the open attribute table, and we'll just do this by habitat type. So we'll start at high salt marsh hold the shift button down and get all the values for high salt marsh here. Then you go over to acres, right click on the gray header and go to statistics. You'll get a few different returns but what you're looking for is sum. This is the total number of acres for that habitat type in the shape file. So we've got 32.87 acres of high salt marsh and you can just go through each habitat type that way. A lot of returns for low salt marsh. Make sure you get them all. We'll right click again and we'll go to statistics and some we got 37.57. So really that's it. You'll get your uh, your total acreage for uh, each habitat type and that's what we were looking for. So we'll clear this out. And that's really it. This is just one example of how we can use GIS to help with our planning efforts and model some different habitats based on uh, data we get from different disciplines. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, please let us know at marbleenvironmental.com. Please feel free to contact us at any time. And we hope this tutorial was helpful.